Homebrew 2. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, number 18. Uh, it's Wednesday night. I'm a little late, but you know what? At least I'm making a video this week. I didn't make one last week. I was still trying to recover from my zombieitis. That I got over the ho over the Halloween. Look at look. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is for November. Uh, so what I'd like some of you to do, or tell somebody to do, you know, ask them to go to sellerdweller.net. Uh, click on to November profiles participant profile something like that I don't remember but I'll do I'll, I'll, I'll put a link down by my lap um, to my profile and if you click above my picture there's a little link in there too for uh, donate donations basically it's for you know men's health usually November is for like you know mustache people go all crazy mine don't grow that fast so I'm gonna step it up a little bit I'm gonna start growing a beard. I shaved on the first of November. I put it on my on my uh, page. This is what it looks like now. I'll go ahead and update my page too. Um, probably gonna post another picture today or tomorrow. But let's get on with it. Homebrew Wednesday number 18. My porter. I brewed it a couple months ago. I think so, a couple months ago. Yeah, just under a couple months. It's been bottled for about just over three weeks. Go ahead and give it a listen. Ooh, that sounds good. I don't know if you can see any smoke coming out of there. Ooh, that was beautiful. I let it warm up a little bit. And I had it in the fridge. Let it warm up some. Let's go ahead and give the pour. That was one hell of an aggressive pour. But anyways, you can see it's got a pretty damn good head. So we'll let that calm down a little bit before I take a sip out of it. Plus, I got some IPAs so I'm gonna be drinking here because I am gonna have a busy, busy night tonight. Uh, let's see here. Let's start it off. So we in the Homebrew Wednesday community have bunch of pranksters posting videos calling out people I watched one today from uh, oh fuck what's his name 40 ounce bitch 40 ounce hoe 40 ounce fear that's what it is did his first homebrew Wednesday video yeah, I go wow I know he's bashed homebrewers before Let's give this a shot. It's going to end in disaster. I already know it. So I watched it. And of course, he mocked homebrewers. You know, they're just jealous though. You know, they seem like they're big dudes. Drinking a 40 in 10 minutes. 40 in less than 3 minutes. Just saying. So, oh, and if they're watching this, I'll post a link to that video too so you can see it. But I'm going to be making another video on top of this. Anyways, bashing homebrewers, like always. So, I think it's time for me to play some games. Ooh, look at that. It's like jello. That is one thick, thick head. Wow. Anyways, so this is a porter I brewed about just under two months ago. Um, I still have my stout in secondary. That's been in there for, uh, it's been in there a while. My goal is to have that in secondary till the beginning of the year. By the end of January, I'm hoping I'll have my keys are built and I can start kegging. 
I want to stay, save that because I'm, I am building a, you know, six taps, and then I'm going to have another one, a nitro tap for stouts. So I'm hoping it's going to last. It is in plastic bottles, and main brew guy told me that plastic absorbs, leaks in oxygen. So I'm debating. I know it's probably good for six to ten weeks or so. It's obviously going to be over ten weeks. I got to give this a shot. Mmm. Ooh, very good. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a shot. I guess. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I guess, guess if I had a class carboy, it would be better. No oxygen's getting into it as far as I know. Uh, my airlock is still staying, you know, level. Not level, but on the high side of letting out CO2. So, any opinions on what you guys might think? I want to save it because I want that to be my first um, draft beer, basically. So, I got that. And thanks to Maine Brew Guy, I brewed a Black Betty, uh, his version two. <coughs> uh, I want to thank him for sharing that recipe. I have videos of that brew day. I'll play at the end of this. Uh, just photos, basically, not a video. Photos of that brew day. Uh, it turned out a little bit higher and uh, I'm estimated uh, the ABV my final gravity was like a 10 or not my final but my original gravity was a 1083 so that was high but with my efficiency problems that I've been having I've been having my home brew shop go ahead and double crush my grains this time when they double crush them they were pulverized so I probably got some hulls in there. Uh, it was like powder. I didn't get much clumping, which I'm glad. And my uh, when I was mashing, you know, the conversion went right away. I probably literally could have stopped after 45 minutes, but I went 60 minutes on the conversion, 75 minutes on the boil. I got just over five gallons at a 1083. I was prepared to add more corn sugar to boost up the levels a little bit, but I guess I didn't have to. So videos or photos, I don't know why I say videos, photos are coming up. An uh, update on my 40 ounce challenge that I had for SJ Poor and Laramo 22. SJ, your glass is going out tomorrow, which will be Thursday, uh, Thursday or Friday, depending on how fast we get out. But Thursday or Friday, your glass should be going out. Laramo's, yours should be arriving by Thanksgiving. And yeah, that's about it. Did you want to add anything about glasses? No. 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 All right. Oh, I'm missing summer already, so I'm getting ready to make a big pulled pork. Got an eight-pound pork shoulder. I'm gonna start it around three o'clock in the morning. Let it cook for 12 hours in the oven, 225 degrees. So I guess I ain't got much to talk about. I'm a little frustrated tonight. Uh, let's see. Saturday night was good. On uh, the hockey players in the box. Good video, or good show with Dwarf 68 and Super D. Pretty cool. We stayed on until about uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 one thirty. By that time, we were wiped out. Uh, that is it. Short Homebrew Wednesday. couple links are going to be at the bottom. Uh, 
but definitely I'm gonna have a, yeah okay click on the links on the bottom check out other members of homebrew Wednesday and see you later oh maybe check out the next video I'm gonna do I'm gonna post that link on this page probably tomorrow so see it it might be good it might not be I don't know I'm a little frustrated that's why this homebrew Wednesday is gonna be short so I'm probably going to do that Tuesday thing if it's going to go on that 24 ounce thing. I just started reading up, our, I noticed videos yesterday. So I might go ahead and if it's going on next week I might try it. So, cheers guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday.